urticating hairs. If you've ever kept a New World Tarantula for any length of time, eventually you're gonna run into this issue. Now I've made a few videos about urticating hairs that I will link at the end of this video, but today we're gonna talk about different remedies or ways to treat urticating hair, if you happen to get some on your skin. My name is Richard, this is the Tarantula Collective. Let's jump right into it. Now, urticating hairs are specialized hairs found on some species of tarantula, particularly New World tarantulas. These hairs are barbed and can irritate the skin and eyes of predators or humans. When a tarantula feels threatened, it will rub its legs and abdomen, causing these hairs to release into the air, which creates an irritant cloud that acts as a defense mechanism. Urticating hairs are not poisonous, but they can cause itching, redness, and swelling. These hairs can create a histamine reaction when they come into contact with the skin, which usually results in the skin becoming red and swollen. Urticaria is a skin condition that results in the development of itchy, raised, red welts that kind of look like hives on the skin. It's caused by the release of histamine into the skin, which triggers the inflammation. Urticaria can be caused by a number of things, including allergies, infections, medications, physical triggers such as cold or heat, as well as stress. It is often a temporary condition that disappears on its own, but in some cases, it may persist for weeks or months. But don't worry, I've got some great tips on how to treat urticating hair on human skin. First tip is to rinse the affected area with cold water. You want to be sure to rinse the affected area with cold water as soon as possible. This will help to reduce the itching and swelling and will prevent the spread of the urticating hair to other parts of your body. The second tip is to apply a cool compress. If you have a cool compress, apply it to the affected area for 10 to 15 minutes. This will help to reduce the itching and swelling. The third tip is to use an antihistamine cream. I get one prescribed from my doctor that works really well, but you can also use over-the-counter creams like Caladryl or Calamine lotion to help reduce the itching and swelling. The fourth tip is to take an antihistamine pill or tablet. If the itching and swelling are severe, you can take these antihistamines to reduce the symptoms, though they do take about a half hour to an hour to really kick in. Now, it is important to remember that these tips are really only for the minor cases of urticating hair. If your symptoms are severe or persist for more than a few days, you should really seek out some medical attention, especially if these hairs get into your nose, mouth, or eyes. Now, very recently here in this new studio, I had to go to the doctor because I was afraid that I had got some urticating hair in my eye. Luckily for me, it turned out I had just scratched my cornea, which caused a histamine reaction in my eyeball, causing it to swell up and turn yellow. It, it was gross, but it would have healed itself within a day or two. But because I work with tarantulas and had been filming tarantulas up close just a few days earlier, I wanted to go to the doctor and get checked out and make sure I didn't have any hairs lodged in my eye. Now there are many home remedies online that suggest they're able to cure the symptoms of urticating hair. And I have tried just about all of them. Now these remedies include pouring hot wax on the affected area, covering the area with duct tape and quickly ripping it off, 
I've seen people using fire or heat to try and scorch the hairs. Using alcohol, vinegar, mustard, uh, all kinds of crazy things. There are also variations that suggest covering the area in Elmer's glue or other types of glue with the hopes the urticating hair will get stuck in the dry glue and come off the skin when you pull it away. Unfortunately, aside from a few seconds of relief, these home remedies really don't work at all, at least in my experience. In fact, they can actually be kind of dangerous. If you're dealing with urticating hair on your hands or arms or wherever it might be, it's already sensitive and irritated. So pouring chemicals or really hot substances on that area could actually do more harm than good. Especially hot wax or pouring anything hot. You gotta be careful because you could actually burn yourself on top of having the urticating hairs lodged in your skin. And the last thing you wanna do is to make that problem area more sensitive or painful. Even though antihistamine tablets and creams and cold compresses don't immediately cure the effects of urticating hair, it will provide some relief while the body naturally breaks down and disposes of these hairs. Well, I hope you found this information helpful. And if you've been haired by a tarantula, hopefully this will help cure or alleviate some of those symptoms. As always, I appreciate you watching. Subscribe if you wanna see more. Thanks for buying Tarantula Collective merchandise, and I will see you next Tuesday. <laughs>